Hey guys, crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is episode two of season five, and the second half of the one hour premiere, so we're gonna catch up right now. Last time on S.H.I.E.L.D., there's Roaches space and the and future, and the Earth is destroyed, and where's this? And water, frozen hot hands, and that's it. Wheels look like this. Oh, oh shit. What was that? Right. Let's hope this ship is designed to take a few hits. Ah, oh, yeah, like that. Oh, pulsers are down. Come on, keep moving. Show us a better do? way to do Track that. Us? I don't think we want that. Hand. I don't think you have a choice. All we really know is the planet was torn apart. Now they oversee everything that's left. Could be Thanos, you have to go back what and help stop him. Every time I see that, I just think like yonder. The way the jacket is with the blue head. Hey, boy! Mary Poppins, y'all! Mary Poppins, y'all! I can't do it. Calvin does this it so is well. This is the exchange. Aren't there humans all over the Everyone galaxy? Everyone has a role to play it's to keep the lighthouse from falling no, apart. No, like the Guardians. Floods, Sharknados, feel safer inside, no? Shark okay, hold up. Tess! Hey, that's that kid from Stranger Things. I didn't get a drop. Kid. The guy from Stranger Things. All for somebody else? No, Grill. Daisy? Pretty name, like the flower. Does that line work in the future? <sighs> Guess not. <laughs> D -D Daisy. D and D, double D. Be a good name for a ship. No. Uh oh, what are these balls? She's twisting the balls. What's this? It's a Creed lady. Mm -hmm. I like this used to be human balls. What's this? What's Jet Li doing here? <laughs> huh? She can use those telepathically, I'm assuming. Yep. Dude, this is like, a, what is it, Phantasm? Is that horror movie? Oh, yep, it's just like it. It's just like it. You're not supposed to be a doctor, Gemma. His wound. You have to blend in. Now we can take Gemma. Infiltrate. These two are professional spies. Cassius welcomes you to his suite. Oh, Cassius. Cassius. The creep fits. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? I was thinking a word for a second. Even Hala doesn't have a view like this. Be cool okay. if like they took Brett Dalton like as a prosthetics, color him blue, it's, so he could be a creep. Just have him play. Just to character. like keep him in there. <laughs> she sends my right? She, I don't think she can feel the other side of her. Life. You just feel the vibrations like coming back or not coming back. Like echo location. Oh, that gives you the high, doesn't it? Whoa, 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 what? Oh, it's in, it's just like a simulation. They're in the framework. Yeah, it's a framework. Framework's back. Shitty looking framework, though. The clouds are the same fucking thing. <laughs> He, has, he wouldn't know I mean, what Earth looks like. The same thing too, yeah. You know? I'm in a framework program. I only did what I thought would make you happiest in the end. That is the superior answer to any question, really. <laughs> There's a little fool of himself. This was a fight over food, Sonara? Oh no. Oh no. She hasn't. Your metric, it's gone. I removed it. No scar, not even a scratch. Yeah, my mom was a doctor. Just a pristine canvas. Hey, I wrestled up some grub. Free package, but it's oh, decent. Oh, great. Listen, Tess, is there somewhere I could change my bandage? Oh, sure. I thought she was going to start beating her. Hey, listen to that! Let the old guy with that pass. Oh, come on, man. That was pissing. Yeah, you didn't put Ross in the dog with that old man? Oh, shit. You should see your gold face in slow motion. Classic. Yeah. Maybe you don't want a magic, you know? Maybe it just shocks you or something. This is not a good thing. So far, any new development in this place is not a good thing. Why don't we put those on? Because they go through your damn wrist. But without them, who knows? A tablet's not worth three metrics. Hmm. But anyone who can steal it is, so... I'll get you hooked up. Thank you. Okay. But you'll work for it, and it won't be fun. Line up and present. Fucking get in. Get in the room. Just put this shit in my wrist, please. We can work. We're in. Get inside. You can work. <laughs> Good guy. 
Where is it? Did you right, drop the old deal. papers? Yeah, it was a mess. Stop doing that. I was cleaning. Because I don't remember programming you to talk back to me. That was a joke, because I, I did program you to talk. Just, will you find the papers, please? I had to rebuild the software from scratch because Kasaya said the historical archives erased. But I was able to get my hands on the servers. I gathered bits of data here and there, and the rest is guesswork. So some of it's your customers don't know the difference. Already exists. You got them addicted to Earth as it was scenarios. Among other simulations, yeah. So this is the business that you're protecting. You think the lighthouse is a prison? The lighthouse, sweetheart. Interesting. Prison would be nice. So intimidating, isn't she? What? I can't run, wait. Uh, it's just like those things in clothes. They do the same thing. They do hunger games here. So if your metric turns red, you have to life kill spent. and be killed? Yes, yeah. A life spent, a life spent. That's the how much I guess that's what they That's the currency they use is. Tokens mean your life is good. So if you're blue, you're okay? If it's red, you're bad. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Blue. Yeah, terrible shot. Shot you. Now, we stay safe in here, but if that fails, <laughs> we make sure they find you first. That was a Rick smile. I don't know why. It doesn't look like Rick smiling. There's <laughs> something about his face looks like Rick. Ooh. Why a guy trying to kill stuff? How many shots is he having that? Hey! Where's the next one? You need one, huh? Still too That's not something to joke about. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Where's Grill? Now you owe me a life! I left you three out there! Fucking grill. That's twisted. Yay! Even with a hole in her mouth. Oh! Dude, that's fucked up. That was like a purge right there. Kind of, yeah. Everybody was just taking out all their shit they had. Grill! <laughs> you know? Is this the last life old? Yes. Oh shit. And then everything's so different. I love it. I have no idea what to expect. Your feet. Yes. She's right. However. No, I can that can be. Cover it up with gold paint. I will notice it's a minuscule cut. on the man's face. Please don't. I'm sorry. I demand perfection. He is now marred. Oh, reminds me of that younger guy from a younger version of that one guy from the Is that technology or is that an ability? It might be an ability. Because oh, Creed created the Inhumans with their own DNA, right? Whereas you yeah. remain a learn. What's that? Ah! Oh. What was that? It's like mer Mercury or something. Ah, oh, shit. She can't hear anything now? I know, what? I know how that is. Now they can say whatever they want without worrying of her being able to hear. You can Cree have her. What she hears. You can't help her. The try is too dangerous. You said the same thing about Mac and Yo-Yo. Agent Daisy oh, Johnson, what's that? These are parts of the code. Wait, that, 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 that was left in the it. framework. That's what I'm looking for, that! Oh, uh, this is whenever she re revealed herself. Daisy Johnson. Hey, you're not dangerous. So you know who I am. Quake. What kind of force can tear a planet apart? It was you. What? I don't know about that. I mean, Quake's pretty powerful in the comics, me. but not that powerful. If you inspire me, as you could. You can put the pieces back together. Take a look. You see an Earth that can be saved? Dude, don't turn her back into emo <laughs> Daisy again. 
Shit. No way. Come no, on. No, there's always after credit scenes in Shield. Gemma, you look wonderful. And I hear you're learning well. That's good. Just in time for my guests. Guests. Is this more Cree? Thor! <laughs> 90 years late. Fuck! God damn it. Way different than anything else Shield has done, which is why Shield is so good. It is completely different with the same characters each little arc. I love it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to expect before. I don't know what we're expecting now. You know I, mean, I mean, we're in. We knew we were going to be in fine. space. What could it have been other than like a dystopian future thing? Because I mean, mm. that works. You can. I pull know something that off in, in human y related, maybe. Uh, but then they send them to Earth and stuff. And yeah, and I'd rather, I'd rather this than in human y honestly. I but I mean, hey, it's Cree, which is in human y right? I mean, they still got that connection with the Cree. The the basis of their ecosystem is a, a life, what is it? A life owed, basically. A life spent, a life earned. Yeah. Yeah. Just, life is their basically their currency. Oh, Tokens yeah. is like a measurement of their life, I guess, and then, right? You know what I mean? Like, well, they said the the ones who didn't earn the mo the, like enough, like the, the ones who earned the, the lowest. I'm yeah. saying like I think tokens is like a measurement of their life, and then the ones who are less worthy of life either have to give a life or take a life in order to make the earnings equal. But even if you like do really well. You have to hide during that time period, right? Because they can still kill you. Yeah. That sucks. You figured, you, like, if you earned up to a certain amount, you would, like, be able to get away. The community? Yeah. I mean, at least they take the kids and stuff out, I guess, but... <sighs> sucks. The big thing here is, like, Deke is accusing Quake of destroying the world. Yeah. Which, I mean, he's he has the framework to, like, guess some stuff, but... He's just making an assertion like everybody else. He said, like, we all have our own stories. Yeah, but he he's just saying that he's correct. the one that has the most yeah. history that he can piece together. Yeah. Whereas no one else has any history because it's all been destroyed. Sure. So, I mean, he's just taking what he knows of the history yeah. that he has and putting it together. I, which, I mean, it could be true. Yeah. I personally really hope that they go the route, like, maybe it's too much to hope for, but I would really like the idea that it's somehow connected to Thanos winning. And that something has to be changed, and that's and then we get to see Infinity War, and you kind of like, oh, I've seen Shield, oh, this this is cool, this makes sense, you know. I mean, the only way I can see like Quake doing that would be like Thanos is gonna win, and she so like, so to stop him from hurting others in the galaxy, she takes him down with humanity, kind of thing. You know what I mean? What if it's a thing like she is fighting Thanos? And she's seeing people being killed and stuff, and she loses absolute control and then destroys the world. And that's a reason why they can't be in Infinity War. Loses control? What do you mean? Like, let's say, like, uh, she's there and, like, all the team is being killed and everybody she loves is being killed. And, like, her power, like, ramps up and she, like, loses all control of her power. And that's what destroys the world. And because of that, and they know that happens, they actually can't fight Thanos. Like, we can't be there, you know, because if, if Quake goes... Well, the future that we saw might happen, you know? So they actually have to stay away from Infinity War. That would make a little sense, I guess, right? Yeah. And that would be like, ah, hey, we're not, we're not allowed to be with Infinity War. <laughs> That's why you guys didn't see us. I don't know about Daredevil, but whatever. Hmm. You know? That could be a thing. I yeah. mean, that, I could see that. Um, but I really, I really hope that this is kind of like a, a Thanos thing. But if it's just like her... I kind of don't want to get into the whole guilt trip date... Guilt trip Daisy again, you know, because that was the things I yeah. didn't like last time about it. It just I went mean, on so long. I'm just curious on like what can they tie into the movies that you know lets them tell the story the way they want to without limiting themselves as well. Which I think going to the future of like here's an alternate future to like really set forth like what yeah. kind of destruction Thanos can do. Like let's say they went into the future during the time of Age of Ultron, they see that they didn't help Nick Fury out to get the Hell Carrier. And Ultron succeeded, and now there's, you know, the Earth was destroyed. Oh, well, we got to make sure we help Nick Fury get the helicarrier. That means that Ultron doesn't win, you know? And, like, that's one little thing. Like, we went and we helped. And it's, it's like I said before, there's a trickle-down economic thing when it comes to these storylines, movies, the TV show. Yeah. The, the movies are never going to, you know, talk about the TV shows. The TV shows have to write themselves around the movies sometimes. I mean, you had Nick Fury being like, I got it from a friend. Yeah, 
But I mean, he, not, and, and we are meant like us who have seen Shield, like, oh yeah, we know exactly what he's talking about. Because I mean, that was uh, season three, right? Well, no, I mean, the director uh, of Age of Ultron is uh, what's his name, Josh Whedon. I mean, he created Agents of Shield, you know, and his brother runs it. So like, we hear that and we know that Josh means that. Oh, he means the team, but normal moviegoers don't have to know there's other people. I don't know. I don't. I don't like their separation. But this is called, this thing's called the Lighthouse. Well, that's the little device up in... It makes sense because it's shining a light down at him and stuff. So mm-hmm. it kind of makes sense calling it the lighthouse yeah. rather than the framework. Yeah. Well, they called it the gallery at one point. I thought the lighthouse was the name of the whole place they're at. Like, the, la- the lighthouse is a prison. Like, the... Uh, this is the station. Uh, that's what the lighthouse was. Because oh. the, uh, the place that he's at is called the gallery. Like, when we talked to the Cree, okay. they come by the gallery... I thought the lighthouse was what they're in. The gallery is where you go to go into the lighthouse. Uh, maybe I heard it wrong, but I'm pretty sure... I, I, I was certain that the lighthouse was, like, the name of the station they're on. Seems like a silly name for a station, but it Silly could name be. for a lot of things. Could be. Yeah. I don't know. I know he said the gallery. I know he said the mm-hmm. lighthouse. But... You think Black Bolt could do that to the world? Do what? Destroy it like that? I don't know. He went, bye, brother. And then everyone went, Yeah, I know. I was just saying, like... I was trying to think of like world world killers, you know. Well, Black Bolt did it. Like, ah! I mean, he's quakey, like, right? That's kind of similar to Quake's. Yeah, powers, like right? he stubs his toe. Fuck! Like, Thanos, Shit! Thanos says, "I'm just." Ah! Oh, let's go back to the moon. <laughs> where, where is the moon? I didn't see the moon. The you moon know? could have easily gotten destroyed just too. Somewhere. Well, off, you know? oh, that, I, I guess that would probably make sense if the all the mass in the world was like that. So they just, said it was like ninety years. We don't know if it's, like wouldn't it have been going like this, and then this went. Psh- so it's just like, oh. Yeah, it, it would, yeah, it's just a satellite, so <laughs> it would probably just lose everything. It took off towards whatever the next gravitational yeah. pool had. Eventually, all of that debris and shit would just reform, but it would take millions and millions and millions of years. Yeah. Well, you said but, that, like, in 90 years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, wouldn't it all be, like, another ball? I'm like, I don't know how long it takes. <laughs> it takes a while, probably. But, like, that big chunk would pull those little chunks to it. Sure. When it comes to what the hell is happening, like... Just the fact that they were brought here. We don't know how they were brought here. We don't know what that organization, the guys with guns and the bald guy with skin. Yeah. We don't know what nothing about that. We don't know what... I mean, they could be some kind of secret Cree. I don't know. I don't understand Why would the they, Cree send them to a well, I don't Cree know how place. they have future... Maybe they, they could also just be some kind of secret organization like the old monolith. And just... Yeah. We gotta sacrifice something. I mean, the, the, the old monolith was a Cree thing. Because Hive was a Cree thing. He was an inhuman, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that... I don't think Cree take their skin off. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Cassius? What about him? What do you think of him? I'm just a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like uh, Sonara more. Who's Sonara? Is that the, the girl? The girl doesn't talk? Yeah. Why does she not talk? Because she's badass. I want to know if her balls are just straight up tech or if she has like a telekinesis kind of power. Probably like a telekinesis. Like, though. can she pick up Jimma? Or throw Jimma? Yeah, it's just not as badass. Or can, does she just it? have these balls that she can just say, hey, go over there? And they just go. Like T-Spheres. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I got it. But you know, like, that's a drastic difference of, like, I have these balls like, I can use to fight yeah. with, or I can just pick stuff up and throw stuff. Sure. I guess I'm unsure of, like, how the Kree, because we know the Kree created the Inhumans by doing genetic testing, but did they add some kind of foreign DNA into humans and create it, or they add their own DNA into humans yeah. and create it, and well, that creates powers? We've only seen, like, strength on Kree, you know? We've never seen a Kree, I don't think, like, well, with superpowers. Ronan had, like, more power than we've seen regular Kree have, right? Well, he just had strength, right? Yeah, but he had, like, like way more strength. Because well, he had like, a thingy he, in his hammer, right? Yeah, but he had so much strength, he could defy an infinity stone, like, from, like, taking you, right? Like I said, only the most powerful creatures can do that. Like, the most powerful beings. It was, like, the Celestials, you know, Ego's son, and Well, Ronin. yeah, but didn't, wasn't it because he had it, like, in his hammer, and it kind of, like, lessened it, rather than just holding the actual stone? Wasn't there something about that? Um... It's been a while since I don't know. I don't think one, so. So I don't remember, but I think he can definitely because he he could still hold it. I don't know. I mean, I know he definitely like was reaching out for it at the end. You know, like he's like, it's not a problem if I hold it. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was thinking in the Guardians one, like he could hold it for a little while, but he couldn't like he couldn't control it and keep it. That's why mm. he put it in his hammer so that he could control it in his hammer, but he couldn't just hold it. Well, I mean, they definitely didn't ever explain that. It could happen, I guess. I thought they did explain I mean, that. I don't believe so. I mean, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've yeah. seen Guardian, so I don't remember, but uh, I thought there was, like, a specific reason why he put it in his hammer. I'm going to put than myself just, out like, there and 
say no. Okay. <laughs> um, so if I am wrong, I'm a little foolish, but I'm pretty I'm sure right. that's not the case. I have to go home and watch Guardians. Yeah. I got Guardians 2. I need to watch that again, too. I've only and seen then that if once. I'm right, never bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Tess. Tess yeah, seems like I recognize her actress. Yeah, I don't know what from. And she's very pretty, but I'm not sure who she's from. So all the elders like were Westworld fed to roaches. Maybe Westworld. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, you know, these uh, important stories, like, they destroyed the histories, and then they fed your elders to the roaches. That probably means that the elders were saying shit they didn't want you to know. Yeah. Well, they why were would you consider her so? Why wouldn't you consider her so crazy? Well, they they said too that they were destroying all the history, so they would focus on the future and not yeah. have hope of the past. Yeah. Stuff. I don't know. And then which, the ro which oh. I'm assuming they were talking about stuff and like the the they were like uh, what was his name Virgil? Is that his name? Yeah. And like all the hope and the the believers and stuff like that. And Tess told Deke like I know you know I know what it means to you I know what you've lost. I'm assuming his parents were either elders or believers. Sure. And they killed them off. Yeah. Hmm. Which is why he's so against it. Yeah. He's very resourceful, though, Deke. There are roaches all over the surface. Mm hmm My my speculation, it may not be true. I mean, there's no way of knowing it without more information. But what if, like, roaches are, like, deformed humans? Like, the ones that are still on the planet's surface? That thing looks nothing surface? like a human. That thing looks I mean, ugly deformed. as hell. <laughs> it's deformed. like, you know, you know how, like, rackles are... Turned from humans and and uh, yeah, but they look that. like they could have been humans at one point. Yeah, just their legs split off, their dick gets bigger, they get a third leg. I'm gonna put myself out there and say no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It could be. I don't know. Why would there be roaches on they, Earth? And they said humans can't live on the Earth. Well, yeah, they they're obviously different. You, you, I don't know. What was that? No. I could see it being a deformed thing. I can see it just being a weird new alien from a breach. You know what they said before? Some anomaly. From I don't know. You, you're the one who said they said that, right? They're like some anomaly yeah. from a breach. Well, because they were transported from Earth to that thing. They were, I think they were saying that like the roaches are able to like jump on those transmissions or whatever somehow. Like they're interloping into that transmission. I mean, that's what it means. Like they're from some like dimensional thing because they've obviously had them around for a while. They've had the elders pair them to gorgons. Huh? You can pair them to the mini gorgons. <laughs> yeah, the demodogs. <laughs> What do you think Virgil was going to show him? Like, right before he died, last episode, he's like, don't worry, once I show you, and there's, a, there's things grabbed. He obviously has some kind of... Uh, Is it that book that Coulson found? Well, yeah, it's got to be something there, but it... he, he has that postcard from Fitz. He's, he obviously kept that. And didn't he, he didn't mention Fitz or something, did he? Didn't he no. mention Fitz at I one mean, time? He said, "Sorry, Fitz couldn't make the trip with you." Yeah, so he knows who Fitz I'm is. Sure, I'm sure he's thinking of you, and he did yeah. something like this or something. Like, yeah. is that where the postcard was or something? Or? Yeah, that was, that's probably where the postcard was. But yeah, there's got to be a uh, there's got to be something more with Fitz. I was thinking, like, what if Fitz made like like uh, LMD of himself? That thing could survive for a long time. Because mm. I was trying to think, like, well, Fitz, how would he? He had to travel through time, but then he'd just be stuck in the same predicament they're in, you know, with no way of getting back. Yeah. But unless, there is, to... unless there is a monolith. There. I mean, he has to also figure out that they went through time somehow. Yeah. I'm wondering if the next episode we're going to cut over and see him, or if he's just not going to be around for a while, sure. and or what. Like, because what is the bald guy, what is the list, and why Fitz wasn't on it? Fitz is a th physicist, right? Mm -hmm. Jim is a biochemist. Mm -hmm. Like, you figure, f I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe Fitz wasn't on the list because they would have to come to the future to do their thing, and then Fitz needs to be there to figure out how to get them back. You know? Like, Fitz can't go to the future because he needs to be there to return them to the past. Fucking ask first, man. <laughs> Cassius puts some kind of stuff in Gemma's ear that makes her deaf to anything but what he wants her to hear. Yeah, some kind of weird liquid. So that really takes away the idea that she can spy. Bug thing. Yeah. And it's weird, like... He, that she can't hear anything until like he was talking to until her. Until he wants her to. And I don't know, like, is it a code word? Is it a, it's, a technology? It's probably similar to whatever. It's probably some kind of power linked with an item. Maybe kind of like what uh, Sonara does with their balls. Their twisty balls. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. I like. I, I really like grill. There's something about, like, what? a guy that's survived that long on this place, and he just kind of, like, because he didn't, like, sell him out, you know? 
He's going to use him somehow, but I, I feel like th there's a possibility that you can, like, turn that guy, maybe. Because he, he, kind of, he said that, you know, I li always liked Virgil, you know? He wasn't, like, this a dick to everybody. I mean, if you get to the point of, like, we're going to do this, and we can all be free, or yeah. we're all going to die, I'm sure, like, having him on your side would be good. Yeah. I, I don't so know if I trust him too much. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, like, as a character, he seems interesting. Like, he's going to mix things up. I think it, he's just going to be someone who looks in for his best interest, so yeah. whatever's going to help him is what you're going to do. So, now he has people who, like, well, you're capable yeah. of stealing a tablet. You're going to be yeah. useful in some ways. I wonder where where else I recognize him from because I definitely recognize him from the episode of Stranger Things from this this uh, new season, um, but I feel like I recognize him from somewhere else too. He's not the uh, the puppet master from Heroes, right? That's a different guy. That guy Are looks a little more relating all fat bald guys together. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of where else I know him from. But anyway, I don't know. um, no, that's not him because that's the uh, taxi driver from Lost. What? Yeah. I wonder why that Cree was so interested to go to the gallery. Because, like, the humans, like, they went they went and escape, and they're trying to go to, like, the Earth that was lost, but the Cree was interested in that, too, oh, you from the first episode. Think and do whatever you want there, I guess, right? I guess. Seven episodes. That was in Reborn. Oh, he's Casper Abraham. He was the one with the case, right? Yeah, he's not the puppet master guy. Who, when we saw that, I'm like, hey, is that the puppet master? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember that. So that's the other more. thing he's in. Um, I knew I recognized him. Something. Otherwise, he was in Walking Dead as someone named Otis. Oh, Otis. Yeah, he was the one that Shane killed uh, from him. that high school, season two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I recognize the that's dude. That's that I see. Poor Otis. Yeah. Um. Okay, I, I guess I don't have anything else other than the idea, like... The Terrans that we see, like in Guardians of the Galaxy, are they originally from Earth, or did they just happen to wherever those humans are from? Did they evolve exactly the same way? Where they came from, the yeah. Glenn Close and all that. Because, like you know, the idea in Star Wars is that humans evolved on one planet, and then they were the first ones to get hyperdrives and like kind of spread out, and they had human colonies all over the place. Yeah. So then you can have people from Shandrilla, from Corellia, Corellia, from Alderaan, but they all have the same birth planet, like an original homeworld, which would have been Earth. Well, it wouldn't have been Earth. It would have been somewhere in that galaxy. But it would, I mean, have, it would have happened, you know, 40,000 years ago. Does humanity in the Marvel Universe have technology to go to space? Uh, no, but humans have been visited for, like, thousands of years by, fa like, you know, the Kree had come and taken humans away. You know, Ego was able to find Earth. And I, I, I don't know, like, you know, the Ravengers just came and took Peter Quill. They knew exactly where to go. Yeah. They knew what Earth was. You know, uh, when Peter Quill's out there, he says he's from Earth, and people seem to know what he's talking about. So they've and, taken people, and then they just bred a whole planet? Well, planet. yeah, I don't know if there's, like, a, you know, because, like, you know, no, like, the Nova Corps or whatever, a lot of them are primarily humans, too. So I, I just imagine that, like, thousands and thousands of years ago, you know, humans, some humans were, like, abducted, and then eventually they just kind of, like, bred out in the galaxy, and now there's they're just humans out there, too. Hmm. That people on Earth don't know about. Hmm. I okay. think that's how it's supposed to be. I don't think there's other, like, inceptions of humans out there. Do you want to move on to Q&As yep. if that's all we got? We're going to do some Q&As. Remember, guys, that's uh, Shield Q&A, hashtag Shield Q&A on Twitter, at BlindWaveProd. You ask your question. You have a couple days this season to uh, get your questions in. Hmm. We'll try to answer. Uh, Kevin Velasquez says, I'm under the assumption that Deke's version of the, how the world ended is invalid. The episode established that everyone tells the story differently and that Earth's history has been lost, so why believe his version? Uh, what he had said was that from information he has on building the... Uh, the fake framework. The, yes. Yeah. Um, from all that stuff, he's, he's the one who has the most history knowledge now. Yeah, he found actual information on those servers and incorporated them into his version, so... Yeah. So like You'll that, see reports of that news Johnson. article that's in there. He didn't make it. Yeah, that would have been a real thing that yeah. was from their servers of making the framework. Yeah. So there's bits of real history he has. So as and of then right he just now, filled in other shit like what the fuck is. Beer so as of right now, he heard like unless we don't, there's more information that we haven't heard about yet. He's seen a, a superhero that can cause earthquakes, and then there was a, some kind of giant. Kind of event, yeah. and so he's kind of so linking together. So there may not be. Yeah, he probably doesn't have a news article being yeah. like. Quakes destroying the world. Yeah. Run, everyone. Run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he probably has this, this, and this. And sure. if you piece these together, it seems like, well, this is what caused it. So while he may have a better 
uh, closer version of events, he's yeah, we can't trust him being like reliable either. Magnus says, Eric, did you cheat on Daisy and she destroyed the world? Also, I'm attracted to that sexy blue alien with the silver balls. Me too. And yes, I know how that sounded. <laughs> Me, I, I know exactly how it sounded. I said, yes, she is very sexy. And yes, I did. <laughs> uh, Christo Fa says, season four is by far my favorite, but I'm two episodes in, and I think this season has the potential to top last season. Yeah. There wasn't a single scene I didn't enjoy, plus the CGI just keeps getting better. What do you guys think so far? Uh, the shots of like the space looked amazing. I mean, granted, there was about six total like big big shots and then a lot of it was like green screen interior of the ship and stuff but it's space you can make space look great even mm -hmm. on adobe after effects on my machine over there you know you just <laughs> can't make the moon look great yeah within humans and humans didn't do very good on a lot of things christopher also said oh my god what a premiere shield is yep. back do you think the Earth could be in the future from after Thanos visits in the second Infinity War movie? It's the first thing I thought of when I saw Destroyed Earth and then we just watched the Infinity War trailer, I'm like, oh, you gotta fix that. And that was probably Thanos. Or is this just a different reality? You think the Thanos way is a better way to go? I would prefer that because I feel like that's a clever way of tying it in without actually having to have a clear crossover. True. I think also, like, if you have, like, here's the destruction of what's going to happen with Thanos coming mm -hmm. to the Earth, and we go back in time, and, like, we got to stop this. Now you have stakes of, like, that's what's going to happen sure. if they can't stop it. And if in the first, because what, from what I understood, there's going to be two movies. One's called Infinity War, and then one's called Avengers 4, sure. whatever it's going to be called. So if you have Infinity War, and it ends in, like, a cliffhanger state of, like, yeah. this is, you know, things are going bad. Then in the future, Then you're the like, Earth shit, it's going to look like this. Yeah. What are they going to do? And then you have the fourth movie that hopefully they stop it. That, so, like, the things and choices are made in the fourth movie changing the future in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. would be kind of a cool idea. But the, I, I guess suppose that it's one of those things when it comes to time travel. It's like, well, if they were going to make those choices and, and win anyway, then this never would have happened. So what changes the future, yeah. you know? Which is very Flash season past. three. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, what in the past can we change to make it work? That would change the future. <clears throat> Jacob, do you guys think the anomaly that destroyed the Earth could be a tie-in for Infinity War, where Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is stuck in a future where Infinity War happened and Thanos succeeded? I imagine a lot of people have speculated That's about this. That's what a lot of people are saying. Um, <laughs> Sam Crow said maybe Daisy destroyed Earth by accident while fighting Thanos. So now yeah. when they go back in time, they have to avoid him so it doesn't happen. And that's why they aren't in the movie. That's exactly what we thought. <laughs> I don't like the idea of her not being able to control her power. I, mean, I can see it in like a. You know, remember, but, remember when she had all those tremors she absorbed and she had to like jump and get the hell out of there and let it loose? Maybe it's something like that. Maybe she's trying to like hold Thanos back by absorbing power and then she just fucking explodes or something. I don't know. That works a little better. I yeah. like that a little better. So I, I kind of do remember that was. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, good. Was that last season? Um, it was last season, wasn't it? With Ghost yeah. Rider and the. Uh, there was like that weird yeah. cube thing, right? Mm -hmm. And she was having to either. She was having to hold vibrations, yeah. like pull them. She was absorbing in. it, so it wouldn't be short. But that, you know, that I, works. You could, I think, you could also, on the flip side of that, easily kind of go the same way as uh, in Heroes when there was the radioactive man, and when he got more and more emotional, the power started leaking out more and more. Like, he just, like Peter Pachali just can't control his power. You know, maybe it's something. It could be something like that with Quake. Yeah, but Peter got the ability and just didn't know how to control it. Yeah, Quake, but I'm, Quake had that already, where she didn't sure, know how to control but, it. And now she does. You know, isn't there could be an idea of like you know she has potential that still could be unlocked. You know, like Black Bolt has probably never used his entire full power. Yeah, because he's afraid of what would happen, right? Like maybe there's a, a part of Daisy that has never went all out because one of the times when she was training, she just destroyed a fucking mountain. So you do, you have Black Bolt who's like, we need to destroy Thanos. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it, and they're like, no, you can't. And he just goes in, she absorbs all of it, trying to stop it, but can't, yeah. and then he just and destroys it all. Yeah. So, there's a lot of different things that could happen. Shire folks says, since this place takes place in the future where Earth is destroyed, what do you think happened to the royal family? Um, they're dead. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe I mean, they were involved I think, in Infinity or, War. Or they turned, they did second... They knocked Jot away. Yeah. You know who's fine, though? On the moon? <laughs> <laughs> Dynamic says, Cassius is giving me high vibes in terms of how he's acting and whatnot. Um, he kind of reminds me of like a uh, Hive Ward kind of thing a little really? bit. I can see that. 
Like his his facial expressions and stuff, he's very just kind of flat. You sure. know, like there's not a lot of emotion there. Hive was similar. He yeah. also has the long jacket. Sure. Some similar mannerisms and stuff. I suppose so. I can yeah. see that a little bit, but I still think it would have been funny if they were just like, hey, Red Dog, all right, I'm gonna put this nose on you, some ears, and color your blue, get out there. Yep, just play different characters every season. We don't care. People are like, you don't notice, but you're like, wait a minute, that's Brett Dalton. Yeah. It's just right there. He just plays an extra every episode. Like the, not the same extra, it's like a different extra. <laughs> Dynamics said May's actress was filming all her stunts and choreography while healing from a knee surgery. She's pretty hardcore. Oh, that's interesting. Is that why they sent her in there with like that? that that's, and then it's like, well, now cool. you have an excuse I mean, of why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, I, I always like the idea that you use your uh, your limitations creatively. And that's very cool because I, I like, you know, she was walking around, you know, limping and stuff. Like, let's give her a reason to limp. Yeah. You know? We'll teleport her to space yeah. with a fucking thing sticking through her leg. I like that. <clears throat> Lucas says, how do you think this season will tie in with Affinity War? Also, what do you think of how dark the shots in this show have been in the past two seasons? Personally, I don't like that too much. You mean how like the dark actual the shots? lighting? Is that you mean? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, when you're filming a in a basic studio and you have like this uh, warehouse, pretty much, it's like, well, right, how do we make this like a spaceship? It's like, well, a bunch of, bunch of corridors and then just redress it over and over and over again. All right, well, does it look good? Yeah, I just don't light it very well. That way, you can't tell if it looks good or not. Yeah. So that's generally a TV show. Uh, trope, um, and most and, of the and underground it, bunker stuff yeah. is underground. And I believe we're still in the ten o'clock time. So I mean, I don't know. I, I like the way Shield both has completely different themes, different tones, and also you know it's going a little bit darker. A little you know you can you can show a little bit more. You yeah. can see this balls going to this guy's head. You know, you have those. You have the darker themes, but you also have that comedy in there as well. Yeah. I like the little mix. Yeah, I think it does a good job with that. Um. And he says, why do you think they left Fitz behind? He was on the list, whatever that means. I don't know. I, I think there's some kind of plan for some reason of something. Sure. And you leave Fitz behind because he's the only one who could figure out a way of getting them back. Okay. So if you know, like, oh, well, Fitz can figure a way to pull people back on time. If he can get Jimma back, he can get her back yeah. again. <laughs> and you take Jimma away, and that's the one who's going to work hard to motivation. get her back, you yeah, know? Yeah, sure. I think, I, I think that works. I, w I wonder if what That's the why that thing said, I'm working on it. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. I also wonder if there's going to be any fallout from his uh, his choices he made in, in the, the framework, framework last like year. Like we had last so. year, yeah. But this whole premiere, no Fitz. The Lonely Wakandan said, do you think someone on the ship is a descendant of Fitz? It could be. I like the... Oh, excuse me. I like the LMD idea. That they keep using... Like, he just creates an LMD of himself to be like an avatar in the future. That would be kind of cool. He just uploads all of his memories and stuff. Um, that'd be neat. Just have it, yeah. Just have an LMD upload the memory. Like he could like copy him himself perfectly. Forever. It's just not him. Yeah, and it lasts forever. That. Yeah. And when you die, you keep working. I know. Diego said, "How much time do you think is passing for the team versus Fitz? It could be six months for them, forty-five minutes for Fitz. I mean, it's time, so it's not necessarily like they're in another dimension. It's not like the mini verse yeah. from Rick and Morty and stuff. So it's not like they're sending them in this place." And time goes differently than him. Yeah, like He's where just, we are right now, Fitz should be long dead and have lived his life or not lived his life. Yeah, but like it's not like well they've they've been in this other reality for an hour. Like Fitz has been in his reality yeah. for an hour. It's mm -hmm. just he's just living his life, and then she, hopefully we go to Fitz I mean, and see like what he ends up doing. Yeah, but I mean it could take him years to figure out how to solve it. You know, unless unless what he means is the the because the mass of Earth has changed. You know, because time and mass are connected. You know, the the bigger thing you're next to, and the gra the way gravity works changes your perception of time and how it ages and how it goes relatively to other things. But so, if that's the case, probably it's a little tiny bit <laughs> flux. Maybe. The, I mean, in theory, thinking of time, time and all that. Like, if Fitz can figure, say, it takes Fitz ten years to figure out how to get them back. Yeah. In theory, he should be able to get them back already. Yeah. So him not getting them back implies that he never got it to work. Yeah, the fact that they're not back yet means that it's never happened. Or he has to as, wait for a certain point in either, their whole plan. Either yeah, that or we're watching. You know, because Legend of Tomorrow had this clever thing of time catching up as it's happening, like the the concrete effect. Yeah. 
like where there's like these little bubbles and stuff, so that we can like have consequences and those questions like eh, who cares, yeah, you know. Whereas sometimes in other time travel shows or just time travel, this is how we're doing time travel. It's like, well, we Fitz hasn't yet made those yet, so we're not going to see the effect in our timeline until it happens as hit in his. Yeah, which outside of the timeline shouldn't matter. There should just be one timeline. But inside with the characters, as we're experiencing it, it doesn't change until he's changed it. Now, when you're thinking about it here, it's like he should have already done it. But we just haven't seen that yet. I mean, it could be he doesn't know where they are, and he just goes to yeah. he goes to January 1st of every year yeah. to see if they're there yet. I mean, they, they got to wait till January yeah. 1st. <laughs> like, let's say they do, they do something to send a message back to Fitz, and then he fixes it, you know? That means that they would have had to have gone through this stuff to fix it. But if they fixed it, did this stuff even ever happen? Because if they fix it, there's no destroyed Earth. You know? Yeah. So, like, it's kind of like one of those bootstrap paradox things where there has to be some kind of, like, loop in there somewhere. I mean, you do the thing where, like, you fix it in case you fail already and Earth gets destroyed. But if yeah. you fix that, then you have to worry about this sure. anyway. Tino says, in what world do we live that S.H.I.E.L.D. is the show that has problems with its ratings? Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't know, man. Shield is awesome. Shield is one of the best TV shows. It's good. I it, love it. It's probably my favorite TV show yeah. that's on right now. Of all, of like, all I the love shows, Game of Thrones and that kind too. of stuff too. But like, yeah. Shield just has such cool, awesome stuff. It's the show that feels most like a comic book and has like the least superheroes. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, and it really separates itself. I mean, humans. I didn't love Inhumans. I don't think anybody really did. Uh, you know, and then Marvel and Netflix is just different. I mean, we talked about how. In Marvel and Netflix, it's so much more grounded. Like, you don't have, like, you know, you go to the computer screen and it's fucking all this shit, you know, and the magic hacking and stuff. Like, S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of has magic hacking, you know, because they have these, they're so advanced. Mm -hmm. Whereas Micro is just a guy on a computer, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it looks like he's playing Oregon Trail, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and, I, and I like that for different reasons, but S.H.I.E.L.D. is kind of that, like, here's the, what you liked about the Avengers without the Avengers. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of like that story. So. Which is good, and I don't, I don't know, hopefully more people find it that haven't, I know a lot of people that gave up on it in season one, and whenever they do, I'm like, no, Oh yeah, don't. keep watching. Push my grandma's through. watching S.H.I.E.L.D. Really? My grandma got S.H.I.E.L.D. from the library. She's like, I like this show. I was like, how far in have you got? She's like, I don't like episode six. I'm like, oh, grandma. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wait until so a fucking good. demon shows up. I didn't say that, but <laughs> <laughs> she's going to love it. <laughs> so good. All right, and then everything else I'm seeing, oh wait. Hold. Oh, one more just came in oh, while cool. we were doing this Q&A. Okay. So, uh, Who's a lucky person? Gabriel said, so Gabriel. we have seen a monolith for space, now another for time. Mm -hmm. Unstable copies of Infinity Stones. That's also interesting. Also getting a vibe that the agent that takes them is a scrawl. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. Uh, scrawls don't change their skin. They can, they can turn, right? Can't huh? they transform? I don't know. Maybe it could be a scrawl. Maybe they just went a different way with scrawls. Do that is a scrawl, but it's not yeah. a scrawl. I'm pretty sure they're doing scrawls for the um, uh, Captain Marvel movie. Are they? Yeah. Didn't they not have scrawls? Or they just don't no, have they captains? Don't, they don't have or, super uh, scrawls. Super scrawl. They captains. have the scrawls. You say you said Captain Marvel. I'm like, the Captain Scrawl. Yeah. Like, that's not right. But no, uh, the uh, <laughs> Captain Marvel movie is going to be taking place in the 90s. Hmm. And uh, the scrawls will be in it. And that's going to happen between the two Infinity War movies. In the 90s? Yeah. Seems odd. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have that, but we Didn't don't know about that. And then the idea that Infinity Stone, like we know that Ronan was a Cree and he was obsessed with an Infinity Stone. There could be some connection there. Maybe the Infinity Stones created the monoliths. Maybe they could use the power to create one. You have a space, a time. A what would a mind, what would a mind monolith do? And uh, Freaky Friday. It just swap you. Yep. What if you were by yourself and got eaten by it? Um, yeah, they say like your your dick is like your little head. What? Who says that? Yeah, like are you thinking with your dick? <laughs> like, you switch switch those minds. <laughs> what, what and now you're you now you are inside your dick. You're like ah, this is a terrible world. Ooh, that was pretty. <laughs> all right, well that's all for Q and A's, guys. We're done. Yep. Uh, poll. Poll. Uh, well, the everybody's talking about uh, a tie-in with Thanos and Infinity War. Uh, is it is it Quake? Is it this? Is it what destroyed the world? 
What destroyed Earth? One is, well, Quake. Quake. Two is Thanos. Thanos. Three is Black Bolt. Black Bolt. <laughs> four is something else. Define in comments. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So you got four options. Um, and we'll read those comments next time. I'm super excited that Shield is back. I'm super Aaron. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye Thank you guys for watching this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with us. Be careful. If you want uh, uh, go to Twitter to do the Q&As, go to patreon.com slash blindwave to find both the full length and uh, the polls. And uh, uh, you could have got me. You could have got me. No, you didn't. Bye. No!